Hey, this is Kristen, your high performance health mentor, and I just got my hair did yesterday, so I'm kind of blending in with the cabinets in the back, but today what I wanted to do is use this Tuesday tip to answer the question, Kristen, should I eat breakfast in the morning even if I'm not hungry? And my answer is 100% yes, you always need to have something. Now, when I'm not that hungry in the morning, it's typically because I went out to dinner the night before and I ate a bunch of things that maybe didn't agree with my system or I'm just not used to eating those things. Um, so I wake up and I'm not that hungry, but I always have a little something and here's what I have. I make myself a tropical fruit smoothie and I'm gonna show you the exact ingredients I use. The first thing I do is I put in about a cup of 2% grass-fed milk. Now, if you cannot handle dairy, then you can also use a coconut milk, but check your labels because coconut milks oftentimes will have a bunch of added ingredients, a bunch of gums in there that you don't really want to put in your body. So make sure that you're using a coconut milk with only coconut milk and water in it, and I, and I recommend the light one. The next thing I do is I put in two tablespoons of this gelatin protein powder. Gelatin is a collagen-based protein powder that's excellent for digestion. I get mine from Great Lakes. Um, the third thing I do is I put in about three-fourths of a tablespoon of this coconut oil. Okay, coconut oil is a very healthy fat. And then, to round it off, I put in about a cup and a half of this tropical fruit medley. I just get this from Whole Foods, and it's right in your frozen fruit section. I like using frozen fruit because it kind of thickens up the smoothie a little bit. Anyway, I dump it all in a blender. I blend it. It takes me about, I don't know, a little over a minute to make. And then I have a nice light breakfast that I can store in a mason jar and bring with me to my work or whatever I have going on that morning. Now, you can always have a fuller snack or a second breakfast once your metabolism kicks in and you get hungrier and that's probably going to be around 10 or 11 in the morning or at least that's what happens to me so yes always eat something and have something light you can also have a piece of fruit and a little yogurt just something so that you don't show up to work completely hangry and then want to eat everything in sight all right, this is Kristen signing off. And if you want some more awesome tips or ways to combine foods in a way that work for your body, go to 31snacks.com. This is where I put in 31 metabolism boosting snacks. They're all combined for you. I've got five different categories in there. Tone and hone, more energy, more stamina, um, no cravings. And there's another one, but I can't remember right now. Anyway, it's an awesome list. Go ahead and grab your free copy. And